All right, here's our homework video for Tuesday, October 25th. We're looking at powers of 10 to get us ready for our powers of 10 quiz on Friday. So let's look at number one. Number one, we can already see that it looks like we're going to have some sort of a pattern going on here, okay? So we're going to remind ourselves of our wrap. Is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule. That's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot. But wait a minute. There is no decimal point in this number 943. How can we move a decimal point if we don't see one? Well, that's simple. We just have to put the decimal point in. Remember, in order to make it stay 943 holes, we have to put the decimal to the right of the number. Now we can move that dot. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. So we're multiplying to the right because we're making our number bigger. The value of this number is getting bigger. It's getting bigger by 10. Another way to say 10 is 10 to the first power, which means I need to move my decimal one place to the right. When I move it one place to the right, that becomes a blank space, so I need to put a zero in. So my new number is 9,430. You can see that each digit got bigger by 10. Let's go to the next one. Is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule. That's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. Now we've got 10 to the second power or 100. So we're going to move our decimal two places to the right. That's one, two. Now I have two hops that I need to fill in with zeros. So that's nine, four, three, and then two zeros. So now I have 94,300. Look at the last one. Another power of 10. Is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule. That's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot, multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. I'm going to multiply to the right three times because 1,000 is the same thing as 10 to the third. So I'm going to make my hops one, two, three. What if I see a blank space? Put a zero in. And so my next answer is 943,000. Each time my answer got bigger by 10. Let's go over to number two. Number two is 712. Again, if I don't see a decimal, I need to put one in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to go. All right, and we're multiplying each time. Is that a power of 10 I see? All you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule. That's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. So I'm going to multiply to the right each time. I'm going to make it bigger, but how many times am I going to make it bigger? Well, the first one is just a 10. So that's one place value, which means I need to take one hop. If I see a blank space, put a zero in. The next one's to 100. We know that's two place values, so I need to make two hops. One, two. If I see a blank space, put a zero in. The next one is a thousand. That's three place values. So I need to hop three. One, two, three. If I see a blank space, put a zero in. Now I can make my new answer. So 712 times 10 became 7,120. 712 times 100 became 71,200. 712 times 1,000 became 712,000. Are you starting to see the pattern yet? Let's keep going. Let's look at number three. This time we're looking at the whole number 63. Go ahead and put that decimal in. Is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule. That's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot. This time we're dividing. So we have to say divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Now, my powers of 10 are not in standard form like they were up here. This is powers of 10 in standard form. These are powers of 10 in exponent form. If I just see 10, that's the same thing as 10 to the first power. So I'm going to make 63 smaller by one place value. So I'm moving to the left this time, and I'm moving to the left one place value. 
So 63 now becomes 6 and 3 tenths. The next one, I'm dividing 63 by 10 to the second power. So I'm going to need to move two place values to the left. So that's 1, 2. So 63 becomes 0 and 63 hundredths when I divide it by 10 squared. My last one, I'm dividing 63 by 10 to the third power. I'm changing it by three place values. I'm making it three place values smaller. One, two, three. If you see a blank space, put a zero in. So 63 divided by 10 to the third power is zero and 63 thousandths. My number got smaller each time I divided by a bigger power of 10. All right, let's look at number four. Number four, we've got 5,433. Looks like I'm dividing again, and I'm dividing by powers of 10. Is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule. That's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot. We're not multiplying, so we're going to say divide to the left, to the left, to the left. First, I'm dividing just by 10, 10 to the power of 1. So I only need to move it to the left one place value. So 5,433 becomes 543 and 3 tenths. The second one, I'm going to divide that same number by 10 to the second power. I'm changing its place value by 2, 1, 2. So my new answer is 54 and 33 hundredths. The last one, I'm taking 5,433 and I'm dividing it by 10 to the power of 3. So I need to change the place value three times to the left. 1, 2, 3. And I made a much smaller number because now my number is just 5 and 433 thousandths. So I went from 5,433 holes all the way down to 5 holes and 433 thousandths. Our place value got smaller. All right, let's keep going now, and let's go a little bit quicker. 432, let's put our decimal down there. 432, here's my decimal. Is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you got to do is listen to me. There's only one rule, that's not a lot. All you got to do is move that dot. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Hop it two times, one, two, and we have four and 32 hundredths. Look at number 6, 60 and 8 tenths. We're going to be multiplying it by 10. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. There's only one, so we only hop once to the right. So that becomes 608. The next one is 285 thousandths. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. Multiplying to the right three times, three place values. That's 1, 2, Three, so our new number is 285. 27, divide to the left, to the left, to the left, three times. 27, my decimal goes at the end, dividing it to the left three times. Here we go, one, two, three. If you see a blank space, put a zero in. So our answer is 20, oop, woo, 27 thousandths. Let's look at number nine. 251, put your decimal in there. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left, only one time. So we hop it once, we have 25 and one-tenth. Look at number 10. 10, we have zero and 33 hundredths. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. We're multiplying three times because 1,000 is 10 to the third. Here we go, one. 2 and 3. If you see a blank space, put a 0 in. So our new answer is 330. Let's check and make sure it got bigger because we're multiplying 100%. Keep going. Oh my goodness. 745,000. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Divide it to the left three times. My decimal goes at the end. Make it smaller by 3. 1, 2, 3. The place value has changed. It's now 745. Number 12, we have 278. Put your decimal at the end. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Divide it two place values. Here we go. One, two. That becomes two and 78 hundredths. 
Almost there. Number 13, 21 and 9 tenths. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Let's make it smaller by 3. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. If you see a blank space, put a 0 in. 0 and 219 ten thousandths. 97 thousand. 4. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. We're dividing it, making it smaller by 3. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. Three, that becomes 97 and four thousandths. 80 and one tenth. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. Three times. Here we go. One, two, three. If you see a blank space, put a zero in. That becomes 80,100. 509 and four tenths. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Make it smaller three times. Here we go. One, two, and three. 5,094 ten thousandths. Almost done. 650. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. Three times. Here we go. One, two, three. That becomes 65 hundredths or 650 thousandths. Remember that zero doesn't matter. Number 18, three and 775 thousandths times. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. Four times this time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. If you see a blank space, put a zero in. So that becomes 37,750. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your homework. That was a very good review of Powers of 10. If you watch the video for this homework, then what I'd like for you to do is at the bottom of the page, right next to this page number, give me a um let's see it's almost halloween let's do a little pumpkin so let's draw a nice little circle we'll give it a lovely stem and then for my pumpkins i tend to just do triangle eyes and a square nose and just a silly little pumpkiny mouth there you go that lets me know that you watched the video and that makes me very happy all right, I will see you guys tomorrow in class. Great job today. Looking forward to another awesome class tomorrow. See you then.